This time on Cruising Calypso, we continue to look at what your money buys. The Sea Ray Sundancer 260, a pocket cruiser for under $75,000. Coming up. Before we get started, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you're aware of new content. We are growing the channel and we're so thankful for all the support we've gotten. Now let's get into the Sea Ray 260 Sundancer. The 260 is an excellent pocket cruiser that's not going to break the bank. Coming yet at anywhere from fifty-five to sixty-five thousand, depending on condition and year. Um, this boat can offers a lot to a family who wants to get on the water, cruise, go overnight with uh, parents and two small children, or just a couple themselves who will find plenty of room for entertaining, cruising, and just plain enjoyment. The boat is stylish with the European lines that Sea Ray is known for. She includes a radar arch and swim platform to complete the overall look. Looking into the numbers, the 260 is 28 feet long on an 8 foot 6 inch beam which makes her trailable over the road. At 7,900 pounds, she's definitely towable by a full-size pickup or SUV. Carrying 84 gallons of fuel is not a lot, but with her single 350 mag 5.7 liter Mercruiser, she should be economical enough to give you a range of well over 120 miles. Her cockpit layout is typical for express cruisers of the type, with an aft U-shaped lounge and then forward a single seat for the captain with a spot for an observer on the port side. Looking at the well laid out dash you can see she has all the necessary gauges and controls with room for a small MFD on the port side. Her cockpit includes this wet sink with storage down below. Down below she's laid out simply with a forward circular lounge that converts to a berth, a galley, and a stand-up head with a wet shower. She has mid-cabin with another double berth. While there are limitations to what you can do in 26 feet, Sea Ray has made the most of the space and there is ample room for standing and sleeping with a space for cooking and showering. Just for comparison, the next size up in the Sea Ray lineup is the 280 Sundancer and while she looks similar, she does offer more space and room. The 28 is about 3 feet longer, a foot wider, and a thousand pounds heavier. She also carries about 25, maybe 20 gallons more of fuel. And the boat is available with twin engines, so that's going to use more of that fuel, but does give you the added maneuverability of the second engine. Down below, you can see how that space plays out. With the same basic layout, with the addition of a dinette on the port side, the head is a little bit larger, the galley is a little bit larger, that forward area is now basically a berth which has a privacy curtain and the mid cabin has a little bit more height and a little bit more space. So with that additional size does come the increased price I spoke of but all depending on what your budget is and what you want both the 260 and the 280 make excellent cruisers that you should consider at the under $75,000 price point. One final note, you notice that both these boats are powered by Mercruiser stern drives. There's a craze now that everything has to have an outboard motor on it. From a cruising perspective, outboards are probably not the best choice. They clutter the transom and don't allow you to dock stern to and prevent you from carrying a dinghy if you choose to do so. Stern drive on boats of this generation is a much more practical um, drive line for this size vessel. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one.